Hi there, it's Rick again from The Game Creators. Last week I was sent a message asking how could we add animated text to the virtual buttons that come with App Game Kit. Unfortunately, App Game Kit doesn't allow you to do that. So, with the help of uh, one of the community developers, uh, Conrad Brown, who's kindly developed a new project, I'm going to show you how you can do it with some new functions that he built and is sharing with the whole community. With this project, you can see that um, We've got a main.agc and we've got a blink buttons.agc file. The blink buttons.agc file includes all the different functions to do with these animated buttons. Now you don't need to know very much about this. Um, it's all documented, so you can jump in and uh, learn all about the different functions and what information they give back to you and how to use them. If we go to main.agc, let's step through this. So as usual, we've got the uh, normal setup, window size and title, virtual resolution, orientation, and so on. Then we hash insert blink buttons.agc. So that is telling App Game Kit to also include this file when it compiles main.agc. So that's linking the two files together. There's um, some images being loaded at these two points. Then there's a call to init blink buttons function. So if we right click we can go to the tag definition and that takes us into this file and this is the initialization function that has to be called first. You don't need to know anything about it you, but you must call it first. Then we have my button one equals and this is calling create blink button function and the parameters for that function include some text, the text size, the x position, the y position, the x size and the y size and the blink speed. Then the next function called is set blink button depth, setting the depth of button 1 to 2 and then button 2 is set up with a stop button and then another button is set up and another button. So the four buttons in total. The numbering's gone out of sequence a bit, probably because Conrad changed it around as he was doing this demo. Let's just run it and show you what it does. So this is the first button. If we click there, it randomly creates a sprite at an XY position of a certain size and of a certain colour. Random. That's what that does, clicking that. If we click stop button 1, you see it's flashing, then it starts flashing. Click start button, it starts flashing again. Simple. Then if we click on more buttons, we get more information about the buttons, and we get a new button, and we can keep doing that, and you see it's generating random size buttons with random size text. Just showing you that the functions can do whatever you'd like them to do. And if you click on these new buttons, they disappear, they get deleted. Oh, that's, uh, that's the one doing the sprites. So, you can see there's a lot going on there, lots of examples of this set of functions. So, this is the create of the buttons. And then we go down to um, this part of the code, where more buttons as integer. What's this doing? It's setting up a new array called more buttons. It's not defining the size of the array at this point, it's just setting it up. Then we've got a do loop, that's the main loop of the program. And then it's checking, if get blink button pressed button 1, then what it does is, it does this bit of code here. And it's going to create a sprite of a random colour, and it's going to position it in a random place and a random size. Okay, so when it does that, it doesn't record this sprite, it just gets the value back. So the create sprite will create this random image and give it a sprite value, but we're not too interested about that value, and we just uh, forget it after the loop. And um, But you could actually store that in the array if you wanted to do so. The next if is checking if blink button pressed my button 2. Okay, so that was the one that was going to stop the first button from flashing and it calls set blink button blink off my button 1 and then the next if checks to see if the 
button that restarts button one has been uh, touched or clicked and therefore it does blink on and then there's another if here which is the one that creates lots of random new buttons so if get blink button pressed my button three then the ID create blink button yes so that's the text that appears in the button we could call it new button something like that it's probably not going to fit but that's going to create if we run it yeah so you've got a new button everywhere like so so this bit of code will run through all of the new buttons if they've been created and it will delete them if you've clicked on one of those particular buttons. And it uses a pretty cool feature here. Remember more buttons is an array. You can add this dot length and it will go from 0 to 0, which would be nothing. But if there's one button there, it'll go 0 to 1 and do that check. So that's quite a handy uh, thing to know about arrays, the dot length. And then if this button ID, which is set here, if it's greater than zero, then there must have been a button created and it prints the data about that button, the, the ID, the XY, the depth, XY, blink rate, and if it exists. Also prints the frame rate onto the screen. So there's a lot going on there. And if you look at the media folder, you can see the images that are used by this program. You could change that to whatever you want. These were taken from the giant asset pack and we provided these buttons and this source code and you can download it from the link under the video. So I hope you found that useful and I hope you can use this code in your own projects. Please subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye!